Meghan Markle and Prince Harry couldn't handle royal life as a couple. When Meghan Markle and Prince Harry announced their plan to step back from their senior royal duties, the couple explained that it was the best decision for their family. However, Shirin Osborne revealed, she didn't think the Duke and Duchess of Sussex gave royal life a proper shot before deciding they wanted to step back and become financially independent. During an appearance on Good Morning Britain, Osborne told Piers Morgan that she thought the couple should have tried to tough out their situation longer than 18 months. I am very sad for Harry. For me, I don't think as a couple they gave it a really good shot, she said. 18 months of marriage and trying to find your place within the Windsor family and within the public eye, 18 months isn't enough, she added. Although Osborne believes Harry's position in the monarchy allows him to have certain perks that other heirs aren't able to enjoy, she thinks the royal should have stayed in the UK instead of relocating to Canada. If Harry and his lady are in love with what they are doing and they are happy, fine. They don't have to stay anywhere, Osborne explained. Harry is not going to be king. He's left his country and it's very sad, I really do. He did a lot of good. He did a lot of good with his charities. What if he didn't want to be a royal? Osborne's husband, Ozzy, chimed in. This week will mark Prince Harry and Meghan's roles as senior members of the royal family. Once the couple steps down, they will be expected to split their time between the UK and North America. Meghan and Prince Harry are expected to step down from their royal duties on March 31st. Royal Heartbreak Meghan Markle would have left royal family without Harry during split. Meghan Markle would have had to leave the royal family alone if the Queen had decided Prince Harry and the Duchess were not allowed to stand down as senior royals, an expert has revealed. Novelist Dame Hilary Mantle said that she thought Meghan was too good for the dull royal family. The author spoke to Harper's Bazaar as she discussed the publication of the last episode of her Tudor trilogy, The Mirror and the Light. Hillary admitted she was pleased that Meghan and Harry's relationship survived after they made their bombshell decision earlier this year. She said, I'm pleased that it's the marriage that's surviving and the connection with the monarchy that has to go because I think almost all of us would have bet that if she, the Duchess of Sussex, left, she'd have to leave alone. Though, none of us know the details of how this is going to work out. She added, I think that Meghan was too good to be true. She was a smiling face in a dull institution, she cheered the nation up no end, or at least men and women of goodwill. It comes after royal family tensions have his an all-time high. The Queen and the Sussexes were embroiled in a bitter dispute over their use of the word royal in their branding. Part of the reason for the Sussexes' departure was their desire to pursue a financially independent life. Their plan had been to use the name Sussex Royal as their main brand point. However, the Queen refused permission. On Sunday, Her Majesty and Prince Harry held a four-hour heart-to-heart -heart talk about their future relationship. The Queen told Harry over lunch that he and Meghan would be able to rejoin the fold. A royal source said, the Queen had a lot to talk to Harry about and this was the ideal time for them to both say their piece. When Harry and Meghan announced they wanted to quit it all happened very quickly and it was very stressful for all concerned. Sunday was the first time the Queen has had the chance to talk to Harry on his own and really find out what his plans are. It was a much more relaxed environment and they were both able to speak their mind. The source told the son the Queen was very upset about Harry and Meghan leaving the family as she wanted to see more of their son Archie. However, she is said to accept that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have made their mind up to live in North America.